Yo, what up gamers? I'm Report Arc and today we're gonna be playing Ash ADC with a new lethal tempo. Starting Durance Blade against this enemy balling, because honestly with Senna, I don't think I'm gonna need any more healing. I don't need the sustain of long short three potions. I think Senna will last me until I've got uh Vampire Scepter, and yeah, at that point I won't need any more sustain anymore anyway. I mean, obviously the three potions are only until, only for the first pack anyway. But yeah, I just don't think they'll be too necessary in this matchup. Okay, Ezreal is probably gonna have to flash here. Hmm. Actually, I, sh I should have flashed him there. I forgot he doesn't have heal, and Sorka doesn't have heal. Yeah, remember, Ash actually does the most auto attack DPS of any ADC at level 1, except for maybe Draven. Well, probably Draven because of his axes. But, like, just straight up uh, autos without any abilities, Ash does the most. So, the moment uh, Ezreal missed his Q there, uh, he was kind of fucked. He no longer had, like, any sort of advantage to be able to win a trade with, and I could just chase him to his death there. So, he needed to flash, honestly, a lot sooner just to, like, miss out on less HP. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much, as you can see, he's just healed up to full HP from Sorka anyway, but... In any other circumstance, he just needed to flash instantly there. And obviously, it still would have been a little bit better if he had. Would have saved Soraka some mana. But there's just no way that if I keep chasing him down there, that he just gets out of there without flashing. That's why Ash is so potent. She tends to win most, uh... Auto attack trades, like long ones. Hang on. Because her passive gives her 10% extra damage on the slow targets. And uh, obviously when she hit you once, she can keep hitting you until you reach your turret. Because of her slows. So if you start losing a trade, a trade against Ash, you're in trouble. Obviously, that I wouldn't be over chasing into a huge minion wave, which is why I don't chase Soraka there. But on top of the fact that she's a support, and uh, if I over chase Soraka there, then Ezreal starts to DPS me, and then I don't need to turn, and I uh, would over already have lost some HP though. Yeah, so I think the best we can do to try to make Ezreal miss farm is just going to be shoving these waves onto turret constantly. Obviously, it's kind of hard to zone the, the guy since his Q is really low cooldown, really long range. Sinish is bot side. Doesn't have boots though, even though he has Predator. You should have got boots for sure. Ruby Crystal when you've got Predator. Well, double Ruby Crystal when you got Predator makes no sense. Yeah, by the way, in case you don't know, it's very important actually to dodge the Rock Cookies. I've not been doing a good enough uh, job of focusing on that. Because you don't just take damage from it, it also heals her, and it also heals her ADC if she uses W. Her W just doesn't like really have any cost whatsoever anymore if she hits a Q first. That's really important to avoid getting hit by it as much as possible. So Ezreal getting healed up from like 20% HP back to full HP earlier, I think that was only possible because uh, Soraka was hitting keys onto Senna who wasn't being careful about that. Chat missed a cannon for that, that wasn't worth even if the trade was good for us, which it wasn't particularly. Oh, can this cannon stop switching focus?
All right, so Rekka's running out of HP now, so it's very important we stop missing or getting hit by Qs. Well, no, actually, she's just gonna back now. Just gonna keep shoving this next wave under turret as well. Okay, since so it's just top side. I was gonna place a trinket, but no need. Okay, where's Soraka? There she is. Oh! I thought I had Q! Fuck me, that's the second kind of missed in a row, that's so terrible. If I knew that I didn't have Q, I would've, I would've just uh, missed the melee on purpose. Just to make sure that I would get the cannon, but I thought I could reset my auto. See, that's a massive heal to Ezreal. Because of Sunny getting hit by that Soraka Q. Okay. I think we should just stay. Ezreal has no mana. Or, well, actually, I mean, he does have a Soraka, though. So he's gonna be healthier than me. But... Okay, we can shove one more wave since I have back to lip. Uh, actually, if Ezreal back there, this is great for us. He shouldn't have. Because even if he's got no mana, which, and he's, like, pretty useless without mana, uh, at least he has more HP than me. I'm pretty useless without HP. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. <sighs> How was I still grounded there? Mm, yeah, I'm pretty fucked there. Run, Senna. I swear I, I wasn't slowed anymore, but I was still grounded. That was kind of weird. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, well. At least Ezreal didn't get anything then we have a CS lead over him. Uh, Senna should be backing right now though, not farming. Because this creates a situation where when I return into lane, I'm gonna have to be 1v2 for at least 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Depends how long she takes to actually back her. And well, even if she stays here while she's like, got no HP and no mana, once I arrive, I arrive into lane, I'm pretty much still laning 1v2. She can't do anything with this HP and this mana. She needs to back as soon as possible. Like, it's not worth cancelling your back here, just get a mist, man. I'm not gonna place my pink, because 1v2 I can't defend it. If uh, they shove this wave under turret now, and then just go to clear that pink, nothing I can do. I'm only gonna place my pink once Sun is in the lane and we can defend that. See, that's my pink gone already, if I'd placed it. You gotta be conscientious that your pinks are actually... Not just put in places you can defend, but in timings you can defend. Fuck. Alright, the Barsetta got vamps up there in Senna. Honestly, these trades aren't really sticking too much for either... For either bot lane. Both of us have too much healing, it's kind of annoying. Okay, since I've already got vision there, I'm just gonna place my pink here instead. Since uh, it's in a place where, it, we, like, we have power over the lane, so it's very easy to defend that pink. Okay, I'm actually gonna do uh, vamps. Uh, sorry, not vamps up there. Uh, executioners very early on. Soraka running out of mana at least? Nope, no HP. Fuck. At least Ezreal is running out of mana. 
Very nice. Oh shit. Yeah, once uh, I get executioners, it'll be much easier. To well, well, we'll actually have some some kill potential as opposed to zero. <laughs> At the moment, uh, we're just like trading blows for nothing here. Just daring one side to run out of mana before the other. But yeah, Israel without mana, as I said earlier, is pretty useless, and right now I have all the HP in the world. We're in a really good spot right now. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh wow, okay, that sucks. My bad. Ooh, there's a king that's gonna pick this up though. Nice. Sick. Okay, he died, but that's fine. Wasn't a huge shutdown, I think. It was only. Well, apparently 200 gold for Ezreal, but that's perfectly fine. Got a little bit more gold in there from my dead, but I got some platings, I got more farm. Uh, is this a wave? No, we can shove this wave. If this was a cannon wave, it would take way too long to shove, but we have plenty of time here. It's an easy shove. Uh, Santa can go for that plating if she wants, I just don't want to waste more time on my back. You don't have to have perfectly synchronized recalls as... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna go my mythic here. You don't have to have perfectly synchronized recalls as ADC and support. Uh, it's the fine for Zenda to go for that plating, but that I definitely want to make sure that I'm backing as soon as possible here. So when I arrive into lane here, even if they shove this like as fast as lightning, I'm still going to be in lane in time to not miss any farm. There's no point in me staying for an extra 80 gold if I'm going to proceed to miss three melees for that, you know, or a cannon. That's uh, like me pretty much losing almost as much gold or just as much gold or maybe even more gold while also missing XP. There's just no point in it. Ah, shit. Oh, I got it. Nice. Oh, shit. This guy is fast as fuck. Holy fuck. I need to go on Ezreal. Uh, this thing is never gonna die. Fuck, I healed the one person. I'm gonna ignore Singe again. Just go straight on Soraka. Perfect. Alright. Okay, I, I assume my executioners did a lot there. <laughs> I, I'd completely forgotten about it, but uh... What is goodness, yeah, that was a pretty long drawn out fight there, some the healing reduction and a lot of time to do work. Definitely worked out better than shield bow would have, because as you can see, I just wasn't taking damage in this fight. Alright, so this was really good for us. Um... I'll just move over here. Alright, nice one. Alright, we can shove out another wave. Because if we don't, this massive wave that we've got is just going to kill all of their minions and push toward them and give them a freeze. We want this to be crashed into the turret. It's not just wiping out all the enemy farm. We want it to be in a position where it'll eventually bounce back to us. Yeah, I'm just backing. Okay, my farm is really good. Uh, it's, it, Ezreal is doing pretty good in farm as well, though. Not as good as me, but, you know, this has been such a passive bot lane. It's not been mid- uh, It's not exactly even been passive, actually. That's the wrong word for it. It's been just very unbloody. We've been trading a lot. We've been fighting a lot. Just neither side will fucking die. I should have honestly gone Executioner sooner. I think we could have got one or two kills in lane. Just, uh, 2v2. Okay, I'm gonna be doing Lord Dominic's second item because of this Tom Kench. He's gonna be really tanky if I don't. They're all so close to getting in range. <laughs> he is so fucking tanky, man. Jesus Christ, he still got the shield. Wow, that was such lucky timing, actually, from him. This guy is really not that tanky, though. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, thank God, Jesus. That took forever. I think he's singed. Very tanky, he's going full tank, okay. I mean, he doesn't even have that many items. I don't know why he's so tanky, but... Definitely the direction he's going in, so yeah. But Dominic's second item will be huge for me. 
I don't think the passive will do too much to Singe, but it'll do a lot to Tom Kench. Start a solo, I'm just gonna go for it. Not again. I need to go on Soraka. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm trolling. No. Okay, I'm, I'm fine actually, I think. Oh, shit, he can see me. I'm out of here. Or am I? Oh no! Fuck. That's unfortunate, man. <sighs> you little piece of shit. This wasn't a shutdown. Yeah, that's what you get. Little fucko. Um, I'm I, honestly I have no idea what does more damage here, uh, Crick Cloak or Lost Whisper. Like against the average target, I'm assuming on Tatam Kenshin Singed, probably Lost Whisper does more damage. I'm gonna try Lost Whisper. It's a really awkward back though. Usually I would at least I would be confident in just going um, Crick Cloak and double Longsword, but uh here when i have uh, an item slot dedicated to executioner so i could only get one longsword max probably i i, I sincerely doubt that would do more damage i hope i got that i didn't see the gold uh ken can have that if he wants I guess he doesn't want me to have it then, fine. Yeah, red buff is not too important on Ash. It's still better on ADCs than any other champion though, like even if you're a ADC like Ash already has slows. Just because you apply the red buff more easily, so you're gonna do more damage with it. Nice. Nice, no need to heal anyone. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Oh, I wanted to turn on Soraka there. <laughs> he flashed away. Okay, that was rude as fuck. I'm just gonna recover all that HP anyway. Uh, I can already back here. Urga is gonna farm this mid wave, so rather than uh, trying to share this wave with him, I'm just gonna back. I have no reason to stay. Usually I would just about that one more wave, but it's not necessary if you already have a solo in there taking that farm. What I can do is go bot or top. I'm thinking top. Or I can also just stay mid. Survive out a wave and then choose where I want to go. Okay, we're gonna join the fight. We're pretty close. Oh wow, that was completely overkill. Oh 
no, I might be fucked here. I'm probably fucked here. Where am I? Oh, come on. No, I would have killed him. Oh, fuck's sake. That's so sad. The fucking loss of vision gave him enough time to shield. I should have blue trinketed, actually. If I blue trinketed it, like, I, he was literally one out of from death. Instead, I had to wait for my E to travel all the way over to him, and at the time, he had time to shield. I don't know if it was on cooldown or if he just didn't think to shield in time, but he was literally not shielding while one out of away from death. Unlucky. Okay, a lot of Tom Kench's damage seems to be magic damage, so I'm gonna do it, Sent. Gonna go bot here. Nobody else seems to be going bot, even though they should be. Today, the fate of our people hangs in the balance. I'm gonna about another wave here, I can see nobody's gonna stop me. Not much point but pushing any further than that, it's very unlikely I could get the inhibitor turret. So I may as well just group. Uh, usually, like, I would just keep pushing here in this situation, where I can see basically everybody's topside. I would just get this turret, but... Yeah, no point uh, trying to push all the way up to there, unless I'm like Tristana. Somebody who's really safe and who can take the turret really fast. I can try an ambush, that is real. Uh, shit. I don't have time to move over. Oh, okay. Perfect, he's dead. Oh. That's right. <laughs> Why does she keep doing this, man? Come on. Doesn't even have first strike for the gold. Oh, shit. Oh wow, I think I need to leave Senna here. Actually... Mm. I'm gonna try and stun Tom Kench, but kill Singed. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh wow. We did not need to double flash in her there, that sucks. Yeah, triple for me, awesome. Finally, my kitty looks decent. I was always doing alright, I just had so many assists. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, we're not gonna get a star, I'm just gonna focus on the farm. I'm gonna take as much of their boss at jungle as I can as well. Try to claim both camps, as well as deal damage to them both with W. Nice. What was I going for next? Oh yeah, I would send. Fuck, I'm really close to it. I need to farm one more midwave. But I'm doing it. Yes, nice. Come on. Lethal tempo range, baby. You can't get away. Oh, sick. This just entirely created the kill on this roll for me. That was great. Ooh, I've had so much uptime on this. Holy shit. Oh, we got an ocean salt. I didn't notice. Uh, it feels like such a shame to, to just end now when I got so much gold. 
Let them get to use. I got this cut down value, by the way. Huge this game. Even if uh, Lethal Tempo hadn't been so buffed this season to be so good on Ash, I still this would still be a game where Lethal Tempo is the move, just because it would give me access to cut down. And cut down was so huge against Tom Kenton Sage. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, gamers.